What is going on everyone, welcome back to a brand new FIFA 16 episode of the Chelsea FC career mode. Now, we're going to start this episode off quite quickly, and um, we're going to get straight into training our players. I'm not going to play the training this time. If you want to know how that works, I've done a previous episode where I've actually gone through the training drills. It's basically just skill games for your players, that's, that's pretty much it. But anyway, we're going to simulate all of them, see how our players do. Hopefully they do well. Um, I've put a better, I've put the better players, for example Eden Hazard. Um, as for one of them, is on a really tough one, um, and he's managed to get a B rating out of it. Um, Zuma on one on two defending, that's also very, very difficult. He got an A out of it, and Blackman got C out of penalty saves. Diego Costa only got a D, and Kennedy got an F as well. So it's not fantastic, but Hazard did well, a couple of them did well, so it was worth it in the end. Um, Egypt. Have just come in and offered me the job. That's that's not interesting. That's not interesting me at all. Let's look at the calendar and see who we have next. We have Stoke next, um, away from home. Then we have Norwich and Tottenham. So it's going to be a tough a tough month. We've quite it's quite spaced out though. So we've got a nice break in between the matches, um, which is always good. Then preparing for December, which is going to be tough. The first two weeks isn't too bad. It's the, the the games after that. It gets tougher. And then it actually ends with Man United as well. So it will be a tough a tough month. But anyway, let's get into this Stoke game. Hopefully we can manage to pull ourselves um, three points ahead of of Arsenal. Hopefully Arsenal can, can lose. We'd actually go two points ahead if they lose. But hopefully we can grab ourselves three points. All right, guys, into this Stoke versus Chelsea game. It's going to be tough. Stoke is a good is a good team. Um, they have a good squad. They have a fair few decent players um, that we should really watch out for. And Stoke Stadium's always a tough one to go to. It's always tough. It always has been. Hence the the um, the the night like the the Stoke joke, basically um, that kind of rhyme. But yeah, anyway, one point behind Arsenal, not too bad. Um, hopefully we can catch up. Obviously, losing to Arsenal a couple of games ago wasn't the best, but, you know, whatever. Um, nine goals scored is actually the current worst in the league. Our six goals conceded is the best in the league. We've only conceded six. That's not too bad. But anyway, let's get into this game. I've changed the camera a little bit. It's a lot wider now because I prefer having the ability to see throughout the whole of the pitch. Um, so we'll continue using this camera, but hopefully... We'll still be able to get a win. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you don't like it, then maybe I'll switch to the other camera. Uh, but let me know in the comments whether or not you think I should do that or not. As I'll whips it in. Oh, it's a corner. Can we get anything from this corner? Corners are quite tough in this game because the keeper normally catches everything. Um, we'll whip it out. Oh, and that is a beautiful corner. Diego, what a save. And that was a terrible cross. And that's actually offside as well. All right, guys. We've actually won ourselves a pretty good... Uh, free kick in actually a pretty good spot. I didn't commentate on it because I didn't know if it was my free kick or not. So we're uh, we're going to try the usual. We're going to try the usual Paul Popper smash um, over the wall and into the net. And that was absolutely terrible. Honestly, the first 24 minutes of the game, apart from the starting off bit, um, it has been absolutely... Un it's been so uneventful. I don't know what the, the correct word will be. Um, but yeah, it's been terrible. They're on a good break here. Stoke, we're on a good break. They've all got like three, four against five. What a save from Tibble. Tibble Courtois with a fantastic save. Keeps Stoke out of the game. All right, guys, half time. Nil nil. Stoke have definitely been the better side. They've had a few chances. Um, ones that weren't particularly threatening of the keeper, apart from the one that you saw. But other than that, it's been quite a boring game, I'm not going to lie. It's been, it's been dull. Uh, not really much has happened. Like I said, though, Stoke have been the better team. World class is a tough difficulty, you know. It really is this year. Um, last year, it wasn't too bad. I could cope, I could win, I could score. But now, you get the ball back. You run across the the one of the sides of the pitch. And you get caught up instantly. Um, because pace isn't a massive thing in this game. You get caught up instantly. And then... You lose the ball, they go down there, the other end, they they link up maybe four or five passes between each other within about four seconds, and they're in. So it is really tough. Um, but either way, look, Diego Costa just gets pushed there, and no foul. There's nothing I could do about that. I would have actually got the ball there as well. So it's, it's got to have been a foul at least. Come on. 
Emmanuel Matic finds Pogba. Pogba's going to shoot straight at Butland. This is... It's really tough. I honestly think this is just going to end a draw. Um, it's been one of the most boring games I've actually played on this on this so far. Not really much else has happened. Arnautovic is actually running down the wing, though. Laporte's resulted to, to having to come down to follow him, but manages to get it. Kurt Zuma's on a run. Tries to find Pedro with a pretty terrible pass. Manages to do so. Finds Oscar. Oscar to Baba. Look, you lose it. That's it. Now they're through. The youth has got the ball. The youth's a tough player. He's, he's one of those players that are really tough to get past. They do that, and then they hit the post. Like, there's nothing you can do to defend it. It's, it's really difficult. All right, guys. Full time. Nil-nil. Nothing really happened. Like I said, I've been saying it all game. It's been a really, really boring game. Um, we do only get a point out of it, which is kind of annoying. Um, but either way, we've had three shots. They've had six, but the shots that they've had, the ones that you haven't seen, have been like little toe pokes that just drag across the floor. So it's been a really, really boring game. Um, so yeah, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode anyway. If you have, please do go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, all the good stuff. All of the links that you need are in the description below. I'm still currently ill, which is probably why you you may be able to hear it. I can hear it myself, but I don't know whether you can hear it and whether it comes out in the, the uh, video or not. But if it does, that's why I sound a little bit weird. Um, but then we will be back with another episode ne uh, well tomorrow. So be sure to, to stay tuned to that. Hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care, guys.